Hello friends, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see how to make glitch title animation, you can see the preview playing in the background. You can also use this glitch title animation as the lower third or as introduction title, so now let's start creating it. Create a new composition. Name it as text. Set the time duration to 5 seconds. Now let's add the text. Now you need to align the text to the center. Now let's animate our text. Go to the text. In animate select tracking. Now go to range select a 1. Change start value to 100%, end value to 0%. Now go to advance, change the randomized order to on. Now go to add, from the selector, select wiggly. Now go to wiggly selector 1, change the wiggles per second to 0. Now change random seed value to 14. Now go to add, from property, select position. Now create a keyframe for position. Change position value for x axis to 750. Now go at 10 frames. Change position value to 150. Now go at 1 second. Change position value to 0. Now go at 2 seconds. Create another keyframe for position. Now go at 3 seconds. Change position value to minus 2000. Now select all created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now again add tracking. In animator 2. Go to range selector 1. Change the start value to 100%. Change the end value to 0%. Now create a keyframe for tracking amount, change tracking value to 40. Now go at 23 frames. Change tracking value to 0. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now you can see the preview. Now create a new composition. Name it as the transition. Now create a new solid. Name it as tile. Now adjust the scale for solid tile as shown. Now in effects and preset search for linear wipe. Add it to the solid tile layer. Now create a keyframe for transition completion. Change completion value to 100%. Now go at 1 second and 5 frames. Change transition completion value to zero. Now change the wipe angle to 225. Now press U to view created keyframes. Select all created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. 
Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now in effects and preset search for CC Repertile. Add it to the solid tile layer. Now change the expand right, expand left, expand down, expand up value to 15,000. Now change tiling to random. Now you can see the preview. Now come back to the text composition. Now add the transition composition to the timeline. Now go at 5 frames. Now press Alt plus open bracket to trim the composition. Now adjust the position of the composition at the start. Now select the text layer. Now in effects and preset search for sec mat. Add it to the text layer. Now change the set mat from layer to transition. Now in effects and preset search for minimax. Now add it to the text layer. Now come back to the start of the timeline. Now change the operation to maximum then minimum. Now create a keyframe for radius. Change radius value to 500. Now go at 12 frames. Change radius value to 50. Now go at 25 frames. Change value to 0. Now change channel to alpha and color. Now change the direction to just horizontal. To make our text visible, hide the transition composition. Now you can see the preview. Now again add the minimax. Now change the operation to the minimum then maximum. Now go at 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for radius. Now go at 2 seconds and 22 frames. Change radius value to 500. Now change the channel to alpha and color. Now change the direction to just horizontal. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now select the created keyframes. Change the keyframe assistant to easy ease. And adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for 3D glasses. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for 3D glasses change the left and right view to the adjustment layer. Now create a keyframe for scene convergence. Change convergence value to 25. Go to 1 second. Change convergence value to 0. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now go at 3 seconds. Create another keyframe for convergence. Now go at 3 seconds. Change convergence value to 100. Now select the created keyframes. Change the keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now change the 3D view to balance colored red blue. This will add the red and blue color glitch effect to our text. Now change the balance value to 50. 
Now in effects and preset search for the transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now change the scale value to 110. This scale effect is an optional if you want you can skip these effects. Now let's see the preview. Here our glitch title animation is complete. If you like this glitch animation tutorial then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you want more similar tutorial let me know in the comment section. Or you can contact me on any of the social media platform. And that is for this tutorial, see you on Friday with another tutorial. Thank you.